one like unto the Son of Man, you know, the Lord called himself the Son of Man, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. White like wool, but this is Right. Still, still a he young had woolly man. hair. He's still a young man. <laughs> and you can read in the book of Daniel too. The book of Daniel tells you the most high got woolly hair. Can Did I you? get saved here? Can you? Yeah. Well, ain't none of us saved ain't yet. None of us saved yet. None of us saved you yet. Ain't, you just said you were saved. We still living in this hell. Right. We're not uh, saved yet. I, I, that's all I wanted to ask. Right. So we're in hell right you're now. You're not saved until you physically lifted up our hands. All right. Thank you. That's all. All right. Wow. He didn't want to hear that before. Yeah, right he, he didn't want to hear that. So no, he ain't gonna get saved. So, <laughs> so no, he's not the same. Oh, saved. we gonna drink that. Oh, we can get locked up. Right. That shit get you tilt too. That should have happened. That old E ain't no joke. That should have happened. Woo! <laughs> have me uh, drifted to the spiritual world. Right. That shit. Right. Last time I drank that shit, I almost died. I mean, they don't, yeah, he don't want to hear that, man. No, he don't want to hear none of the scriptures. Especially, like, he said he already had a tattoo. Was that Caesar Bo's hair on his arm? Yeah, that's what it was. That's why he out of here. Yeah, because people, but they all, yeah, they, they claim they believe in the Bible and all that. Go. They all right, man, I'll see you, man. Um, I'm going to give you a call. All right, all right. You said you're still in the same spot, though, right? Yeah, I'm going to call. I don't know about that. Go on, go on, right behind the car. You gotta just text him out. Text him the address to my phone. Okay, I'll do that. All right, all right, all right. Where you at on the south side? Not yet. I ain't seen him in years. Well, it's been a couple years at least. That's the smoothest motherfucking jack around now. Yeah, he ain't getting it. Don't take him in. Don't take him in. I don't bring him to my crib, you know? He always had no good deals for you, boy. I don't even put him in my car. Cause you know I always had change and shit. You know. Man, some people you just gotta stay away from. Bro. I know. We went up in the, just a convenience store with him one day. He came out. He came out loaded. <laughs> Handing out shit. Yeah, you can't do no. And then, you know, being fucked around with him, man, he'll get you sucked up too. You know what? What we what, what was we just reading this from? Was the high heat got to do? You yes. know. The line got to do with the lamb or the, 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 the wicked with the righteous. tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, this is but the point, yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, Neither keep it at home. Yeah, Esau don't keep it home. Like we talking about a so-called white man. He don't keep it home. That's why he's all he's over there in Korea. He's over there in Libya. He's in Iraq. He's in Afghanistan. You know what I'm saying? He, he just can't, can't mind his own goddamn business. Yeah, you know right, what I mean? Right. He's through all hoods and shit. There's some homes, you know. Yeah, I was just watching a uh, video. Still beating on that girl. I was just watching a video by the Apostle Tahar. He put up about the slavery patrols. Did you just watch that one? And I was thinking the same thing. It's like all, all these cops, they, they only patrol through the uh, the Israelite communities. You know what I mean? Through the black neighborhoods and the white trash neighborhood, they jakes too. That's right. But they just constantly patrolling. That's like a slave patrol. That's a good point, you know, the apostle brought out. Because they just kind of, that proves that you're not free. You're not free. If we was free, we wouldn't have cops patrolling the streets, keeping your ass in check. You know what I mean? I guarantee you, if there was no police, that there'd be peace out here. We'll take business into our own hands. You know what I mean? 
And it's I would have killed tens of thousands uh, two thirds of my neighbors. Thank you. <laughs> and, tens of thousands. If there weren't no cops, if there weren't no cops, you'd think twice before you rob somebody. Because you get fucked up. The cops ain't gonna come and save you. If there was no police, the women ain't gonna commit adultery because they get put to death. You know what I mean? So the cops is not here helping us. You know what I mean? They, they're like, they just the slave, uh, this, uh, the slave patrol. Slave catcher. Yeah, the slave catcher, that's what it is. Keep people docile, out, broke down, so, you know what I'm saying, we don't try to not do nothing, you know what I mean? They're making sure you ain't gonna try nothing. Yeah. You see them out where Esau is, man, they only got to make sure you stay out there. Yep. <laughs> you go up, they know they had that many. Right, right. They be chilling in the donut yep. shop all day. Yep. We just wait on our power, our power to come back, you know what I'm saying? Then we gonna handle business. Right, the Lord gonna give us power though, man. Yeah, we accept that, you know what I'm saying? The world's given into the hand of the wicked. Yep. We know that. Soon we're gonna have our, our little patrols of our own. That's right. That that should go over two-thirds hands, man. Earth given to the hands of the wicked. They don't understand that. And that's simple as that. Yay, also because the Lord has spoken against Israel, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied. There we go. Yeah, he can't be satisfied. Never yeah, there's enough. Been, yeah, there's been more deaths in the 20th century than in, I think the entire history of mankind. All thanks to Esau. World War One, World War II, the Vietnam War, the Korean War is just endless. It goes on and on. World War II was some bloody shit. That was some bloody yeah, but World War II, that's bugged out. But what, the World War III that's coming, World War II ain't gonna have shit on that. That's how, how sick it's about to get. <laughs> right. That's just gonna be so sick, you ain't gonna hear about no more wars after that. Yep. <laughs> every country gonna be in this war. Every country gonna be at war. This is hard to even comprehend World War II. You watch some footage, you be like, damn. You watch the Battle of Iwo Jima. That was yeah. some bloody shit yeah. right there. All countries yeah. went involved. Really but this is, time, man. all countries will be involved. Hate yeah. each other. That's my favorite videos to watch, some World War II videos. Yeah, that's some it's brutal amazing, shit. man. The videos of the warships fighting each other. You know? Badass videos with the warships fighting against the Japanese, man. Live, it's, the shit is actual good footage, man. You know, kamikazes coming in. The Japanese weren't no hoes. No, no. Them Jakes is crazy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them had to be Jakes. For real. You know? Man, they got proof that you had uh, black samurais and all that. I was watching uh, videos made by Japanese people themselves that was going into uh, the history of how Israelites came to that island, you know, thousands of years ago. So you got Israel's mingled among all them heathen nations. That's right. Neither keepeth at home who enlarges his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Hey, that, that's what Esau is doing today. You know what I mean? That's why also, you know, he called the daughter of Babylon too. The scriptures call Esau the daughter of Babylon. Cause you know, doing the same thing that uh, Nimrod did. The Nimrod, you know, built, was uh, behind a tower of Babel. And Babylon means confusion. The tower of Babylon meant a tower of confusion. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got out here is confusion. Yeah, everybody speaking the same language in the most high, you know, confuse the tongues. Scam. Right, so Esau is the, the, the daughter of confusion. That's why nobody got a fucking clue right here. They all confused, stuck on stupid. Don't nobody know their nationality? You ask somebody their nationality, what's your nationality? I'm an American. That's not even a nationality, you know what I mean? America was created, what, 200 and some years ago? That's brand new. And all nations came to it. This is a nation of immigrants. So there's no such nationalities in America. Because you got uh, Irish over here, Germans. Hey, that, that, that was a eating bunch of your ass right Oh, hook nose. Bitch can smell her own breath. <laughs> Don't even thinking about it. This looks like Gonzo. <laughs> no, it's sticking right in her damn mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Look at their face. 
You don't have no babies with her. Your child come out oh, looking ugly as hell. That's what I be thinking. Like, right. what if I get this bitch pregnant? Right. Uh-uh. Yeah, just pray to the Lord that you don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> He'll close that wound. He'll put a lock on it. Lock the wound. What the fuck is out? Sick as hell, man. That's Atlantic confusion. Yeah. You know, we just talked about that confusion. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't know if it's a man, woman. That's crazy. And they teach your children to accept that shit in school. Verse 6, shall not all these take up a parable against him? And a taunting proverb against him? And say, woe to him that increases that which is not his? And that's what we come out here. We say, woe unto you devils. You know what I'm saying? Robbing everybody for something that's not yours. Yeah, that's why they got that, like we was talking about that courthouse. They got that courthouse right down the street. And they, they just emptying out everybody's pockets. You go up in a courthouse, it's filled with old ladies. You know what I mean? Old men. And they're not criminals. Widows. 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 You know what I mean? Non-violent people going in there for victim victimless crime, so-called crimes. They ain't never heard a fly in their life, but they still up in that courthouse getting robbed. You know what I mean? Getting robbed. I still don't know what the fuck FICA is. What is it? FICA. They come out to check. The taxes are coming. Oh, the taxes. That's another form of robbery. Increasing that which is not his. You know? I forgot which it is. But, uh, the employee, employee, like the wages and your wages. You can't tax a man's wages, you know, but you can, you're supposed to tax the income. The income is what the corporation makes. Right. But you can't tax somebody's yeah, fucking wages, originally, man. Yeah, even in America, right, originally the only taxes was on goods, like uh, whiskey, tobacco, you know what I mean? Goods. But they never taxed a, man, taxed a man's wages until what? That's Until crazy. World War II, they had a war tax to help fund the war, and after the war was over, they just kept it. I'm going to get a definition on tax. But you know, you these dumbass women in two-thirds of Israel. You wearing that motherfucker to disintegrate. Hey, tell, tell when he's two-thirds, or tell, especially tell when he's woman that you're not supposed to pay taxes. And watch them lose their mind. They're like, how are we supposed to pay for stuff? <laughs> You know what I mean? They actually think that tax money is going to pay for the roads and the cities. But look, but look how dilapidated this country is. Infrastructure is falling apart. You know what I mean? This country is just a giant pile of shit, bro. You go to any of these neighborhoods, west side, east south, south side, all the neighborhoods are falling apart. Shit's raggedy as hell. Oh, you see that uh, new movie coming out, uh, Ready Player One? Yeah. It takes place in Columbus, Ohio, the year 2045. But did you see the way Columbus looked in 2045? It's a giant slum. It's that new Steven Spielberg movie. But it's already a giant slum. A giant pile of shit. Columbus, did he already make it or is he making it? No, it's already. It's about to come out. That looks like a good movie, though. But it takes place in Columbus. I remember they, when he was on... Um, when they advertising people to come out and get your food. It just show Columbus is a giant ghetto. It's already a ghetto. You know what I mean? It's my girl. I'll go ahead. It says, uh, Daily Caller, it says, A-C-L-U, transgender, also, 64, Wisconsin, test power, test parents to pay for genital Mutilation. Yeah, mutilation. They got a little picture. You cut the dick off and shit. Ah, I don't want to see that. No, one side, it's not a real dick. Uh, it's like a little, uh... They, they, they want to get his dick chopped off? Yeah, it's like a little... Like that's that. what they do in this country, though. So that's the picture. Look at that. Probably get that good. picture and just cut the dick off, I think. Oh, it's not... Oh, it's his fingers. Never mind. Yeah, I guess he's cutting his shit. Balls off and shit. You can do that in America. You can get your dick chopped off. And uh, that's the American dream. Bunch you can of get your gay dick chopped off. Fuck yourself a bitch. If you ain't you ain't did that, you ain't lived the American dream. <laughs> Man, this damn win. Fuck the American dream. I'm living an American nightmare. You got be, what was that old saying? To believe in the American dream, you gotta be asleep. <laughs>
I had it. Check this out. You see that? Can it see? Can it pick that up? Yeah, got it. America's infrastructure scores a D plus. Yeah, this fucking wow. place is falling apart. So why are they taking all this taxes? All this tax. Where is all that tax money going to? In Esau's pocket. It's going to songs. It ain't going to these cities. These cities are a fucking a giant piles of shit. Y'all been to the west side, the south side? <laughs> yes. God damn. Yes. The north side? Up on Cleveland? All these. Yes. Amazing, this shit is fucking filth, bro. Right, so the question is, what they doing with the money? Our people's living in filth. Right. Like well, literal they're filth. Pay, they're not paying the debt. It's not going toward the debt, obviously. These road, these roads is all fucked up. They said they got taxes and the gas to pay for roads. I can't tell. These roads is fucked up. Fucked up. Gotcha. Well, you blow out a tie rod and hit one of these potholes, you be all fucked up. Flat your fucking tire on that. Yeah. Being your rim. Hey, let me get that definition of tax real quick, though. I know it's in here. I'm gonna read this. Uh, a tax, a contribution. <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of definitions. I ain't gonna read them all. Actually, I'm gonna just read it all. Actually, there's a lot of good stuff. A contribution for the support of government required of persons, groups, or businesses within the domain of the government. A fee or due levy on the members of an organization to meet expenses. A burdensome, a burdensome or excessive demand is strained to place a tax on. Uh, I'm going to skip some of this. To make difficult or excessive demands upon. There you go. To make a charge against accused. He was taxed. Whatever. Uh, comes from the middle. From, comes from Latin. Which means to touch. Yeah, but it's a difficult or excessive demand. That's why you say you get taxed. You know what I'm saying? You've been at work all day or whatever. You like you feeling taxed. Or after you beat the bitches, I got taxed that ass. Yeah, so that's a difficult or excessive demand you put on somebody. That's something difficult, bro. That's right. It is these people out here, they, they don't even make enough money to even pay their rent, but they still taking taxes out of their check. Man, how fucked up is that? That's what, and these people that have it so too, they'll fight for their right to pay taxes and to be poor. They gonna give that up. You know what I'm saying? They need that. They, they, they need to be, you know, they, they love their oppressor. What's that, the African? Right there. Oh, this <laughs> Goofy. Goofy. Deuteronomy 23 and 19. Thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother usury of money, usury of victuals. Oh no. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean to interrupt you, but that's the type of shit you see out here. You know, that's legit. Right, right, right. But the cops will arrest you for some bullshit, but you know, faggots can walk around. We out here as watchmen, man. You're supposed to Women can walk around naked, panties showing. That, that's okay. Condemning that, man. We're condemning yeah, that. strange shit. apparel. Right. Nobody wants to see that shit. They're going to be destroyed for that. They'll be destroyed have, for not being modest. My imagination working. Would you like to see you know? your daughter walk around oh, like that's that? That's a shame, man. Hell that's no. a shame to her father. I don't want to see my daughter, my wife, my friends, my sisters, my nobody, nobody do that shit. Right, man. No one, no, you, that's, you, that's adultery looking at somebody up wise. That's right. Wife, man. They causing us to do it by, by dressing like that, you know what I mean? We don't need men. We're, Again, we're only this men. is Esau's problem, man. What's that? It's supposed to rain today. Uh, Not sure. Oh, yeah, sure. okay. oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. TV too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This is all the rain today. Become a present your wisdom and your knowledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm blessed, baby. Oh, you too, man. You're safe, man. You become a movie star. Well, everybody, you know our people love to be stars. They the stars of heaven. Deuteronomy 23 and 19. Thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother, usury of money, usury of victuals, Usury of anything that is laid upon usury. Ah, oh, shit, that's all you see out here is look. 
All you see is a U.S. bank right here, Huntington Bank right here. This whole country is founded upon the principle of usury. You know what I mean? This, this country is ran by the bankers, the so-called Jew, right. the devil. Right? Like even the Federal Reserve notes you got in your pocket is called a debt note. That's right. For how, how much money does it cost to produce one dollar? It's more it's than what it's more than. Yeah, it, co <laughs> it costs like three dollars. I don't know the exact amount, but it's right. more than a dollar to make a dollar. Right. Same thing I go with the penny. You know what I mean? It costs more money to make a penny than it's yeah, worth. Penny, right? Well, a penny is actually worth more than a dollar because the penny's made out of metal. It's metal. There you go. That's true, right? Yep. This is all fucking false balance. That's that false balance of songs. Because usury is interest. And according to the scriptures, you're not allowed to charge somebody interest. You can't say, I'm going to loan you $20, but you got to pay me back $25. That's against the laws in the Bible. That's right. You know, like during the so-called dark ages, all through England and Europe, usury was outlawed. Because you know, uh, King uh, uh, King Edward I, you know King Edward? He's the long shanks from, uh, he's really a so-called black man. Uh, you seen Braveheart, right? Right. The king from that, that's long shanks. King oh, okay. Edward I. He expelled all the Jews or the Amalekites from England because they were over usury. And he didn't like to see his get people get used like that, so he kicked them all out of there. When they with King Edward and Prince Ella, Princess Isabella, they kicked the Jews out. Oh, that was Ferdinand and Isabella. That's okay. what the uh that's going into the uh, that was before uh, I mean way after that. That it was, was after uh, that, okay. During okay. the Spanish Inquisition right. and all that. Yeah, they kicked them all out. I kicked their asses out too. Right. They over there robbing everybody. That, that's how these devils get you, bro. They get you to uh, subversion and deceit. They get you to make a little deal with them, sign a contract. And the so-called Jew don't work. You ever go to McDonald's or Burger King and see a so-called Jew who's not a Jew? You, you ever see one of them working at McDonald's? They own them. Yeah, they own that shit. They own them. All their families got reparations. They did. They still get reparations. They still getting reparations to this day. So how they they getting big money? They got hidden taxes and full of food. And shit. Yeah, that's FICA. That's great. <laughs> well, of course it has to be. Right. They right because uh -huh. you got something called the. Uh, <laughs> if you look on the on a food, you got any food labels or anything out here? I mean, um, I wonder if it's on Tim Hortons thing. It might be. I don't know because that's not. When you go to the grocery store, look on your food. You know, a lot of times you'll see a, a, a circle, uh, I mean a U with a circle around it. And that goes to the uh, the Orthodox Union. You go look on their website, the Orthodox Union, and what it is, is you're not, uh, you, you can't sell any goods in the supermarket or the store unless you go to the so-called Jew first. You gotta get approval for it, you gotta pay a tax. And then they give you that little silver approval on, on the goods. You go look at it, they got their own website, they tell you. Cause they claim that they inspect the food to make sure it's okay. You know what I mean? They don't inspect shit. It's a tax. It's a hidden tax. I'll go ahead.